What's up everybody, Jesse from JLR Media here, here to make this quick video about slide broadcast versus high level. Now these are two very different softwares. Um, slide broadcast is specifically a voicemail drop type of software where you can um, basically just take a list of people and uh, put them through your CRM or uh, I guess Google Sheets, if it, that might be possible if you do it with Zapier or something like that, but you can basically just just take that list and send a bunch of voicemail drops and mark them off if, whether they called you back and figure out if you need to call them back or send another voicemail or whatever you got to do, send texts, emails, and just figure out, you know, how do you reach this contact? Are they a dead lead or are they not? But I like voicemail drops in general because um, you can start off with that in, and instead of cold calling, you can basically warm call leads and find out if they listen to your message. It makes the conversation a little bit easier, in my opinion. And um, so let's just get straight into the differences and what I think about the two. Um, they're two very different softwares. Like I said, um, Slide Broadcast is specific to voicemail drops, while um, Go High Level is a all-encompassing CRM. So I'll explain what that means in a minute. So the, the main differences, though, that I just want to talk about is um, with the voicemail drop specifically. So in high level, they have campaigns that you can do multiple different things, but they have voicemails in there as well. And um, I would say as far as voicemail delivery rates, um, I would say high level is a little bit better. Um, I, I can't really quote it on that specifically, though, because um, I was working in a different niche for a while with Slide Broadcast. And I would say that it had more to do with the niche than who I was sending uh, who I was sending it to was the big factor, really. Um, so I'll, the reason why is because, for for example, I was sending it to a lot of orthodontists when I was working with them on an agency, and um, a lot of the times, doctors' offices or other types of businesses with automated um, types of receptionists that answer the phone before you get to a real person, it affects the delivery rates of voicemail drops because it has to go through hoops just to find uh, the answering machine, basically. So one of the things that's really nice about Slide Broadcast is it does not charge you or, or take credits away from you um, if it does not deliver that voicemail. So most of the time when I was doing it, I, it was, I was hardly getting um, my voicemail drops through to that specific um, industry. But when I switched over to real estate and loan officers, um, it was working pretty well with slide broadcast, but I just noticed that I was getting more responses through high level. I'm not really sure if um, maybe just the contacts that I, I was sending it to were just a little bit more responsive. I'm not really sure if, if you know, it really had to play between, you know, which software I was using, but that was my experience. Um, but moving on, um, as to some of the reasons why I like high level, I like high level just in general more than most things, but I'll explain why. So high level is, um, is its use cases for many, many different things. Um, the reason why I like it so much is because I'm using it already for my clients. It's, I, it's what I use for their marketing campaigns. It's what I use for my own um, prospecting. So, and it's all in one place. So that's why I like it. So if I'm prospecting and I don't ha I don't want to bounce back and forth between different softwares all the time because there can be so many different ones when you're trying to do different types of tasks and different types of ways of marketing to these people. So, you know, in here I have a way of, you know, dropping a voicemail, adding a task to my dash my dashboard to message people on Facebook and message them on LinkedIn, send them a text message, and then telling me to call them to see what's the deal if, if they didn't respond to me, sending another voicemail. So it's just really nice in the sense that it can create these campaigns that have a lot of different things going on other than voicemail drops. Um, and then it has so much more than that. So uh, let me just go over here and show you um, all the things that it says that it replaces. And I'll tell you whether I feel that way or not. Um, Google Sheets, I feel like Google Sheets still has a little bit of a use when just collecting your own data and you want to just keep it in another place. So that's just some, that's just a personal preference, but Active Campaign and Scipio and Call Drip and Slide Broadcast are all things that are basically replaced by um, High Level. And the developers of High Level are just making this software incredibly powerful and just making the value of the software even more every every month they're coming out with new features 
Um, if you're familiar with like MailChimp and and Pipedrive and ClickSend, it, it replaces all that. Um, so it's it's like, you know, it is more expensive than Slide Broadcast. So if you don't have a need for a full encompassing CRM with communicating with people or your prospecting and things like that, I wouldn't worry about it. I would stick with Slide Broadcast if you're just trying to, you know, go for voicemail drops in the beginning and test it out. I would go for that in the beginning if you don't have a need for all those things. Um, but if you're, you know, doing lead generation or if you need to stay in contact with leads and you're using a CRM right now, but you want something a little bit more powerful, um, high level is so worth it, guys. It's just ridiculous what you can do in here. Um, they're adding some crazy features to this thing soon. I'm just going to take this away. Um, and they're, they're actually added. So if you're familiar with something called click funnels, which is a funnel builder, um, they're basically recreating click funnels within high level right now. And that's something that's coming. And that's, that alone is $97 a month from click funnels and high level is just going to include that in the CRM and people are on the beta, uh, for the, uh, for the funnel builder. And they're all saying that it's already very robust so far and they haven't really had too many bugs. The developers of this are just crazy good. Um, so, you know, if there's any issues with the funnel builder or anything else, they address it very fast. They have like their own Slack channel um, that they respond to people on, you know, anything that they have going on. And, you know, because it's still, you know, there's some bugs here and there but whenever there is a bug they address it so quickly and they take care of it it's just amazing um so yeah sorry just have a couple different uh windows open but but basically yeah, as far as um voicemail drops specifically i would say slide broadcast is a good starter software to do uh to use because um it doesn't cost a lot to get started if you just want to test out voicemail drops to begin with, um, with a CRM that you're currently using, or if you're not using one at all that doesn't have voicemail drops and, um, and you want to test this out, I would say go for slide broadcast. But if you want a really powerful CRM that has everything included, um, you can check your calendars in here. You can, um, you know, do all your marketing campaigns with every type of task that you can think of. So if I like, if I click on, um, like ad event, you can just see like what you can do in here. So you can do uh, text messages manually or automated, um, talk to people through Facebook Messenger. Um, you can tell yourself to call them and it'll basically be um, a way of like, uh, what do they call that? It's like a power calling, like kind of like just uh, going through all your leads and calling them immediately so you're not wasting time. Um, voicemail drops and you can do web hooks to do tasks. They're gonna add tasks. Uh, integrated into this eventually, but right now you have to use Zapier at the moment. But um, yeah, the software is just, uh, it's just getting more and more powerful every week. And um, I can't really say enough good things about both Sly Broadcast and High Level. Um, they just have different uh, use cases and whatever fits your needs, I would go for that.